Hey guys, you're watching BTEC. I'm Basil, and this video is about the Sony Xperia XZ Premium, not the Nokia 8. I've done quite a few Nokia 8 videos. That said, if you do want to know anything about the Nokia 8, you can comment in this video, and I'll do my best to answer. But back to the XZ Premium. This is a beautiful device, one of my favorites, one of yours. How'd you make it look that bit more beautiful? You guys are always asking me, what wallpapers do I use? So this video is about the wallpapers, but rather than just list out the ones I use, I'm going to give you some tips as to how to get the best wallpaper for your phone. Before I do that, if you're not already subscribed to BTEC, subscribe. It's how you stay on top of everything that we do. Right, Sony user interfaces have scrolling home screens. That means that when you have a wallpaper on here, every time you scroll left and right, you see more of that wallpaper. As a result, you don't want a portrait wallpaper for your Sony phone. Oh no, you'd be better off with something that is a little bit more landscape, just like this one. Nice and high resolution so that when it comes to zoom in on that home screen, it doesn't crisp up and pixelate too too much. If you've got a dark phone, use a dark wallpaper. If you've got a light phone, use a light wallpaper. That's a general rule of thumb, but you'll also want to bear in mind the screen technology within as well. IPS displays on here do great with all colors, whereas AMOLEDs really showcase high saturation and deep dark blacks that bit better. Also, there's some battery saving implications by putting a black wall home um, wallpaper on an AMOLED device. Right, back to this phone. To access your wallpaper, options just long press the backdrop and then you can just tap through on wallpapers here you can see home screen and lock screen. Your lock screen wallpaper doesn't scroll left and right. So if you have a portrait wallpaper, you'll be absolutely dandy. As for your home screen wallpaper, you can see it actually gives you a little preview as to how it is all going to look. There's another way to access your wallpaper. You can actually open up your uh, gallery and say this Darkstalkers wallpaper is one that I wanna use next. I just tap on the three dots to the bottom right hand side, use as, and then wallpaper, tapping on the Sony icon. I then tap through on home screen and always, so that I can always customize a wallpaper with the Sony phone uh, setter. And this actually looks really different to the one that you'd use if you went the other way. So press save and then you can see I've ended up with the scrolling wallpaper that I've actually cropped. To show you what it would look like if I went through this menu, I can tap through on wallpapers, tap on photos, I then find that photo right at the bottom of my list here, and then I can actually set it in a much, much more intuitive way. I really prefer this way of doing it because you've got a live preview as to what your wallpaper looks like. But having said that, you can't browse your phone with folders, so it can also be a little bit more cumbersome. Right, so I'm gonna put Morrigan right about here so that I swipe that way and I can start to see what else is on the other side. Um, and I can swipe across and you see it doesn't quite go all the way through to Sienko. Sienko is another dark stalker's character. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to whoop, scroll all the way down, tap through on that wallpaper once again and get Sienko in center stage, positioning her so that the clock is as visible as possible and then pressing select. And then my home screen and uh, lock screen wallpapers are all taken care of. Apply that and from one picture, I've gone and gotten a really sweet Darkstalkers wallpaper and a really sweet, my fingerprint scanner read too quickly, Darkstalkers lock screen wallpaper as well. Like I said, all from one picture. So when you do get your picture, you wanna make sure it's nice and high resolution. Just taking a look at some of the other pictures that you can download in the description below. There is an awesome Spider-Man one as well. So I'd probably, for example, have this as my home lock screen wallpaper, um, or this is my lock screen wallpaper. It's uh, X-Men or Cap Marvel versus Capcom. Um, and then something like this is my home screen wallpaper where it then scrolls into Spider-Man for some extra badass visuals on the right hand side. I've also got this, as you can see, I'm going for wallpapers with a lot of action across the board so you can create multiple images from them. The thing that they have in common is that they are nice and high resolution. They might be a little bit busy for some people, in which case you may wanna opt for a lock screen with some clear white areas for you to lay your applications on top of. This is a Street Fighter wallpaper, as you can see. Right, jumping out of that, and I think I have one more, yeah, just the one I had by 
D4 earlier and that's a Spider Woman one. I really like that because it's got elements of green, picks up on the green in the Midnight Black version of the XZ Premium, but also because it isn't too busy with light colors, it's all dark colors, your application icons stand out as well. That said, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna enjoy using the XZ Premium with this banging new wallpaper. If you wanna download it for yourself, link in the description below. Any questions, just fire them in the comments. And like I said earlier, subscribe to the channel, stay on top of everything that we do. Thanks for watching, BTECT.